moving slower I don't know what it is you do I've been looking at you all night Trying to figure you out I just wanna make you smile Hold your hand in my hand Looking at the sunset Man, you're looking good tonight I wanna kiss you before the sun goes down It's what you do So as you can see, we have a mess. We have a lot of mouse poop. This is our camper trailer that we stay in when we come camping. It's by the river. It's really nice. Um, it's my close family is who else comes down here to stay. So it's pretty nice having a pretty private, for the most part, camping lot beside the river. Um, we do pay rent for it every year and this is where we like to camp so <laughs> welcome back to the video guys today we're going to be cleaning up the camper i also want to do some things i'll explain in my voiceover but i want to get some new curtains to put up um i wanted to get blackout curtains because when we come and camp sorry about the noise that's the generator outside running right now um the sun is always cold. Damn it! The sun is always a really bright when we stay, and it's hard to sleep in any at all, you know? So I wanted to get some new curtains to put up on my windows. We'll see about that a little later. I'll have to measure and everything about that. But I want to take these old ones down um, and count how many curtains I'm going to need and all that. This area is a place that doesn't have any curtains and I normally tack a blanket up there, but I really would love to have some curtains or something. Um, so yeah, um, it's a work in progress. I did really want to remake over this camper some and like at least paint it. Um, I would love to paint. I'm not really worried about our floor right now, but I would love to paint it. Um, this area has a lot of potential. I wish we could get like a, like, um, a futon or something to like, so you could sit here, but we got a lot of stuff. We do have Cole with us today, so I don't really know how much I'm going to be able to get done, but my husband's going to work on picking sticks up outside. It is really bad. I'll show you guys that really quick and what he's going to be doing while we clean the camper. Always, the river's up too. So we couldn't bring Otis today, which was really sad, but we were too worried about bringing him because the water's up, plus um, the water's really cold still. So cold, Otis gets what's called cold tail, and it's really painful for dogs. And I just, Otis is hard headed about staying out of the water. So he loves the water. So we left him at home today, but hopefully next time he'll be able to come with us. So as you guys can see, the grass needs mowed as well, but that's also a work in progress because you got to get all the sticks picked up first. This is our dreaded, I swear to God, the sticks get worse every year, but there are so many sticks that have to be picked up. It's crazy. So today's method is going to be using the shop vacuum. That is my dad's. He was so kind enough to let me use it. Thankfully, I didn't have to use my vacuum. Because, guys, there was mouse turds, um, just random things like little pieces of leaves that have gotten blown in. Things that my dad's shop vac would have, you know, would have been better to use than using my vacuum. Especially the mouse poop was something I didn't want to suck up with my vacuum. Um, so I'm just going through, um, we're going to work at one section at a time. I find this, guys, when I first started this t today for... Example, like I said, my little boy was here with us that day, so that was another reason that it was chaotic because I was getting interrupted a lot. And that's just how it is with kids. But it's hard to get things, like when I start working on something, I wanna be left alone most of the time and just get it done. That is how my brain works and that's how I've always been. And it's just something about me that is really hard to like stop what I'm doing and just like, um, it can get kind of, uh, overwhelming sometimes so I was already filming 
feeling overwhelmed when I started cleaning in today's video and I just wanted to be honest with you guys because I don't know what it was so I decided to just take one section at a time and I think that really helped me like not feel so overwhelmed uh, with cleaning especially when you got like a lot of stuff sitting around and working in a camper is a really limited space um, so I don't really have a lot of room to move around there wasn't a lot of room for me to move my camera and it was kind of hard for me to film and get shots and then I had to move this little shop vac around with me and it was just chaotic today to be honest when I was filming this but we got it done I feel a lot better about it now that it's done um, we also went back today actually as I'm doing this voiceover and got the sticks picked up outside uh, my husband wasn't able to get it done on this day because he was worried about coal which I'm glad that he was focused on coal more uh, he was just playing with his bike, but the water was up. So my, my husband was just like really afraid that he'd get too close to the water, which I'm just really glad that he was keeping a close eye on him outside. Um, because obviously if my husband wouldn't have been there, I wouldn't have been able to do any of what I got done today. So I'm very thankful for his help. Um, so I'm going to here in a minute, we're going to mix up a little solution and we're going to wipe all the surfaces down. I honestly wanted to do more of a deep clean today and wipe everything. And I also wanted to go through cabinets. And like I had this prevision in my head, which is something that you should never do, guys. Never do that because sometimes it don't always work out. And then you end up feeling a certain way, like disappointed or not as accomplished. But it's okay because, guys, we don't have to get everything done in one day. And I keep trying to tell myself this as I'm getting older and then also... Um, having my kid for like six years now, like realizing that sometimes you just can't do it all at one time and that's okay. And trying to let myself feel okay about it instead of feeling like disappointed or like overwhelmed that I didn't get something done. Like it tomorrow is another day. It'll be okay. It's really hard though. What, like I said, with the way that I am to like change that part about me because I've always been that way. And I love just being able to just get all my stuff done it's like my brain can't rest unless I accomplish exactly what I wanted to do I don't know you guys will have to let me know if you guys are the same way or do you guys do a little bit at a time do you guys take days to do things let me know down below there's definitely no shame in that either because like I said I feel like you know so not all of us are physically able to like do as much as some people and I think that's okay too it's like whatever we're able to get done and handle um, you know, we need to just enjoy life more. And as I'm getting older, I'm realizing that too. It's like, we just need to take time and enjoy the little things in life and spend time with our family, spend time with our kids and just really, you know, not focus on cleaning everything. It's really hard for me to say that though, because this is what I'm doing for my job. So I will say as I'm getting older, I'm getting more to the point where I'm not trying to be as particular about getting stuff done, but I, I kind of film everything. So, right. So if I'm doing YouTube and I'm making cleaning videos, that's just kind of what I have to do. But I'm not going to lie to you guys. Sometimes I get really burnt out with cleaning and it's probably just because I feel like I'm constantly doing it. And um, I just, it gets old sometimes, you know, and I'm sure anybody can say that with any kind of job that you have at some point, you just get tired of it and you just want something, you just want to do something different or you just need a little break and that's okay. Like take that break and take that time for yourself and, um, I don't know. Sometimes, like I said, I just get really burnt out with cleaning. Um, but I, like I said, want to make these videos uh, for you guys to get you guys motivated and to help other people. And it just also, it helps, you know, my mental health. Sometimes it's just like my brain just is the type where I need to be physically doing something. Um, I don't like my mental health is just not the type where I can just sit around a whole lot and not do anything. I mean, I like to take time for myself and enjoy TV and like, you know, take walks and like sit and listen to music or like whatever, spend time with friends and family. And like, don't get me wrong. Those are like the best times, but like, it's hard for me. I don't know how to explain it, especially on days where I feel like I need to do something. It's just, I feel so much more productive and just like better. I don't know. I just feel so good when I'm getting stuff done. So let me know how you guys are and or if you guys struggle with getting up and doing things physically. I know a lot of people have mental health struggles and that will affect what you get done me mental or uh, physically. Um, Cause I've been through that as well. And I kind of experienced that like when I was dealing with depression 
um, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't even get myself to leave my home, which it was pretty bad whenever I couldn't get myself to leave the house. Um, so I've had depression to that degree. And I just want you guys to know that you're not alone in the way that you feel. And um, I pray for any of you guys that are dealing with mental health issues because um, it's really hard to get through it. But just know, guys, put your faith in God and you will get through it. I promise you. Um, and you also need a support system as well. That's the only way I got through what I went through throughout my life, especially since I became a mom. I've struggled a few times with depression and I still have it. It's not something that I'm convinced that will ever go away. But you just learn how to deal with it, I guess, is what I'm getting at. You kind of learn what works for you and you just need to take care of yourself. And you need, because you can't take care of nobody else if you don't take care of yourself first. And there's nothing wrong with that. So, yeah, there was some house poop on these benches as well. It wasn't as bad as I guess it could have been, but we have some issues in this camper like in the bedroom, there's a hole in the wall. The wall's actually kind of rottening back behind the bed because of the water from the rain and the weather and stuff. You know, it's just starting to wear down. This is a really old camper. It was actually in really great condition when we bought it. And it's, like I said, it's from like the 70s, so it's pretty old. And it was just in a great condition. Um, and then from sitting out in the rain and, you know, all the weather, it doesn't have like a roof all the way over it. So it just things like that start to wear down. The roof is kind of coming down in the back a little bit. It needs fixed up. If we can fix it and fix up all these little imperfections, like the hole in the bedroom, I also want to move the bed in the bedroom completely around so we have more room, but I don't even know if that's possible. That was something my dad was going to kind of give his expertise on that and just try to help uh, get that situated and I don't even know if it's possible yet but I'm hoping that it is because I don't know I would just like to have some more room I feel like you can't move around in the bedroom it's really tight and it's just something I don't like about our bedroom in this camper is I just feel like you can't move and I would just like to have a little bit more room as far as length wise this camper is so big you guys like it's so long it's honestly unnecessary to have this long of a camper I'd rather have a wider camper and you know shorter length of a camper and be able to just kind of enjoy the little spaces and we thought about getting a new one um but now i'm kind of like having you know second thoughts about that because if i can fix what i don't like about this one and then just you know painting it will be super easy i want to paint it white pretty much like all the walls and the cabinets would love to just run some like, you know, I could go to Walmart and buy some cheap paint and just paint it white and it would brighten it up so much and make it look a lot better and just prettier. And it's not really so much about appearances because we just sleep in this place, guys. And when we come camping and that never has really bothered me, but I just, if we're like going to keep it, you know what I mean? Then I'd like to do a little remodel and little remake. And then I can also film that for you guys as well and have more content. And just also, it would be really nice to be able to come down to the camper and just enjoy the space a little bit more. Um, and yeah, so just trying to make some little small improvements as we go.
dreams, so let's start making plans around them Maybe we can dive right in So for the bedroom, um, I'm taking these blankets off that I was actually supposed to get months ago. And I didn't see like any mice poop on them, but that doesn't mean that a mouse wasn't on the bed, of course. But I took them home, cleaned them, washed them really well. Um, and then I'm going to actually, something that I meant to do back in the fall when we shut the place down, you know, was to put this waterproof cover over the mattress. So I'm going to actually do that now. And I'm just going to leave it on there because it will help protect like the mattress and it won't let like nothing get stains or anything or, you know, mice poop or any of that kind of stuff. But I'm really hoping we can take care of the mice issue. And I think if we could just get this back like behind the bed, you guys can't even see it, but back where our head goes, like on that far back window, back there is where the wall is kind of like getting rotten and it's from the weather. It's from rain water damage stuff like that so that is the i want to completely flip this bed if you guys can envision what i'm talking about but i want to turn it around i want to but i don't even know if it's possible um that's why my dad has to help because it's built up on some plywood and stuff and like me and my husband might attempt to do it but i don't want to like start something and then not be able to complete it or fix it if you know what i mean because there's also some stuff underneath the bed as well that i don't even know if we can move the way that they have the the bed uh, or the camper built anyways I don't know yet but I'm hoping that we you guys see how much space I have to get around the side of the bed here with this end table I also I wanted to keep this little end stand here but the two beside the bed are really unnecessary like especially if we're going to move the bed around those have to kind of come out so we have we would have to rip those out and um, I don't think it would be hard to do. I just, like I said, I want to, there's no room back in this room <laughs> to get around. And there's also a door back here. And when you come in the door, you're running right into the bed. And it's just, I don't know. I just don't like it. I just wish we had a little bit more space to just enjoy the camper a little bit more. It's hard when you can't move around in a space. Um, it's just, I don't know. It's just hard. But... I'm going to, like I said, wipe everything down back here and um, get all the dust. There was a lot of pollen and stuff, and now that pollen season is here, I'm actually glad that I got this done before. I got this done a little earlier than what I normally get it done, and I'm really glad because now it's out of the way and it's like ready to go when we want to go camp, and that was a really nice feeling, so hopefully I'll have to give you guys updates on if we're able to move the bed. I hope so. It's like on my list of things that I really want to get done.
I'm also not in my best explaining mood today, guys. Um, I'm just feeling a little sluggish today. Um, so I'm just trying to take like a little down day today for myself. And like I was talking in the beginning of this video, you need to do that. You need to take care of yourself whenever you have the opportunity. And I know it's hard, especially for people that have kids. Um, that can be really hard, but sometimes you need to ask for help. Um, and I had to learn that like the hard way. Um, when Cole, especially when Cole was like really little and um, my grandparents kept Cole a lot and that was helpful every week for me. I also wanted to quickly acknowledge that I know not everybody has help and that can also be really hard but just maybe ask your spouse to give you some personal time and for a little while to yourself and then you can do the same for them. Um, and you know if you're a single parent then I really feel for you on that but just whenever the kids go down for a nap, you know, get that self-care in as much as you can um, is what I would recommend, but it helps a ton. But thank you guys for being here today and watching this video. I hope you got some motivation. I love it and enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. You're new to me. I don't know who you are. Be like a piece of art. I want more, but better slow it down. Inside my mind is getting all too loud, I get scared Not used to this, not prepared Not used to this, not prepared Not prepared Alright, we are done for today Um, I didn't get to take down the curtains today because, uh, my husband's not Feeling the best today, I don't think he slept very good, so he's tired So we're gonna go home Um, but I got the camper done it Smells so good in here now <laughs> It's pretty clean Compared to the before all the mice herds are up so that's good um, next time like before we stay I will uh, obviously make the bed but I'm not worried about it today we got the uh, waterproof bed cover on there and it's really hot today, guys. It's like in the 80s, so we're like dying. Luckily, we had a little AC in here, but my husband and Cole were kind of burning up, but the bathroom's done. I just wiped in there. I didn't film that because it's hard to film in this little small space, but we are done and we're going home. So I hope you guys got some motivation. Maybe we can do some more cleaning because I probably should go through like the cabinets and stuff and like there's a lot of stuff that we don't even use and I don't really want it. I kind of want to get rid of stuff, but hope you guys enjoyed. We can do some more cleaning. Like I said, in the future down here, we got more stuff to do. We also are probably going to do some projects if we're going to keep this thing. So thank you for watching. I love you guys. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. It was like if we were to waste these moments. The light poets who make